Hey baby bears, it's me Barry Becca and welcome back to the best channel ever. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around. If you'd like to stick around, just hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you can get notified every time I post. And if you've been subscribed for a while, I just wanna say welcome back and thank you for all your support. I'm so excited for today's video. This video is completely inspired from a video made by another YouTuber. Her name is Sierra Schultze. I'm gonna include the link to her video in my description box because this is her idea. And I just felt really inspired to recreate her video because I thought it was awesome and it's something that we need to see to put things into perspective, especially about like clothing sizes. So I really hope that you guys dig it because I digged it. I dug it. Um, basically, she tried on her size of jeans, which is size 12, coincidentally also my size. And she tried on size 12 jeans in 12 different stores. This video is going to be kind of the same concept, except I'm not doing 12 stores. I did six stores. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you into the dressing room with me. That sounded creepy. A lot of girls look at the number of their size and they place a lot of importance on it. And if they don't fit in the same size in a certain store, that can be very mentally harmful to them, especially in a society that praises you for having a smaller pant size. I can say that I really used to take it to heart when I was younger, especially if my size pants didn't fit me. I would go out a lot with my grandma shopping and I remember I was a size 14 at the time and I tried the size 14 pants on and they did not fit on me. Like it did not go over my thighs and I was just like, what the hell? Like I have a bunch of size 14 pants at home. How can this size 14 pant not fit on me? And mentally it just got to me, you know? I felt really sad and ashamed. Sizing is different depending on the brand, depending on the cut, depending on the style of the clothing item that you're using. I always felt really angry if my legs especially didn't fit inside of pants because a lot of pants are just not meant for thick, thick legs. And that's, that's the part of my body that I was always most insecure about is my legs. They were always way bigger than anything else. I'm specifically trying on jeans in this video because I know how hard it can be to find a good fitting pair of jeans. Please don't forget to give me a like if you like this video and I hope you keep watching. The first store I went into was PacSun because they seem to have a wide selection of trendy jeans. So I looked through the different jeans and I picked out two styles I liked in a size 30, which a store employee told me was equal to a standard size 12 to 13. The first pair didn't even make it over my hips. They were cute and they had cuffed bottoms. I wish they worked because I've always loved that style. The next two were also fails. This straight leg pair came all the way up but there was no zipping that baby up. And these vintage mom style pair didn't make it past my thighs. What a fail. Though this was a setback, and I was initially disappointed by the first store that I went into, I was still hopeful and I kept on going. I ventured my way to the next store, Forever 21. I picked up two pairs of jeans, a size 12 from the plus size section, as well as a size 30 from the straight sizes. The size 12 was one of the best fitting pairs in this whole video. It was stretchy and made for a curvier body and it hugged me in all the right places and uh not gonna lie ladies i felt like a snack hey. Hey. the size 30 pair were a different story though as soon as i put one leg through i already knew it wasn't gonna work they didn't make it over my hips 
I love them though because they had lots of buttons and a cool tie waist design. And that's another trend that I've noticed. The jeans that I find that actually fit nicely on my body are usually pretty basic. I want cool jeans too, you know, with like cool different designs and buttons and stuff and you know, just fashion. I really think that brands need to like open their eyes and start making like trendy, cool, unique designs for a curvier body too because you know, we don't just want to wear the basics. We want to wear cool stuff. Okay, so brands, get with it. So I pushed onward to my next stop, which was Old Navy. Old Navy is known for carrying a wide variety of cuts, lengths, styles, and sizes, so I knew I wouldn't be disappointed. I grabbed some jeans in the style curvy and long, since I'm tall, and those jeans actually fit very nicely on my body, but I wasn't exactly wowed by them. Still, they were comfortable and, you know, they were just your basic dark blue jeans that you can wear for anything, you know, very nice, very cute, very classic but nothing, nothing out of this world. Next up was Cotton On. I recently purchased some like mom style vintage jeans from Cotton On and these are literally my new favorite jeans. This time I tried on some mid slim straight jeans. They were also the type that rolled up on the bottom so I really like that because I think that's such a cute little style. They were nice and made the booty look good. I also like that they didn't have that awkward gap at the waist. Overall I love them but I wish that they came in a high-rise style because mid-rise is nice and all, but my favorite type of jeans are high-rise. I think that style just looks the best and most flattering on my body type. So I just made it to Target. So let's see how these size 12s are gonna fit. I chose Target to put in this because usually Target is a win for me. It usually works out pretty great because target is the spot okay um it just is there is no competition for target target never disappoints me so i picked up two pairs of jeans one was a skinny jean and the other one was like a mom relaxed vintage style jean the skinnies fit really nicely but they felt tight on my butt it wasn't a good kind of tight either. It was the kind of tight that like flattens your butt out and I really was not feeling that. That's not the look I'm ever going for. I don't want my butt to look flat. The mom style ones were way comfier. Okay, I love these type of jeans. When you see something that says mom jeans, it's just that it's more of like a relaxed fit. You know, like a mom would wear them. I also love the rips on them. They were also high rise, which is my favorite style, as I said. The only problem with these was that they had the awkward gap on the waist. A little bit, you know, it had a little bit of a gap. Nobody's perfect, I get it, it's fine. And they were also a bit looser than I like. I know that I for sure would have to wear like a belt with these, but still they're very cute and honestly, I rate them very high. I also wanted to show you guys this cute tie shirt that I tried on that I'm gonna have to go back for soon because unfortunately, I must be dumb because I didn't buy it. I just, I left it. Why would I leave such a cute shirt? Look how cute it is. So my last stop was Walmart. So Walmart was uh, open obviously because it's open like 24 seven, but the fitting rooms were closed last night when I got there. So I'm here today and uh, I got some matcha tea because you guys were telling me to try it. I don't like it at all. I browsed through their denim section and I picked up a pair of mid-rise straight jeans. These were the brand Lee Riders. Surprisingly, I love the way that these fit. They looked super nice on my butt and they were super comfy. I like jeans that really emphasize that you have two butt cheeks. I don't like it when it looks like you merged into one butt cheek. You know what I mean? I need, I need my my butt cheeks to each have their own space in the jeans otherwise 
count me out. And that's what these jeans did. Like honestly, do not underestimate Walmart. The only thing that I wasn't crazy about about these jeans were the pockets. I didn't really like the shape of the pockets, but either way, these jeans were amazing and I really didn't expect Walmart to deliver as much as it did. And that is the end of this video. Overall, I just hope that this video opened your eyes to the fact that size really is just a number. Just because you are normally a size 12, for example, we'll just use my size, doesn't mean that if you go into a store and the jeans don't fit you, that you need to cry about it and feel bad about yourself and go home and do some crazy diet plan or starve yourself. Like that's, no. You don't have to change yourself to fit into some stupid lame piece of fabric. It's just fabric at the end of the day. That's all it is. And some stores just aren't going to cater to your body type. And that's fine because there's so many stores out there that will. At PacSun, the size 30s, which equal like a size 12, um, that was the biggest size they had in their denim. And I felt like, wow, that's... That sucks, I cannot shop here for pants. Um, but you know what, like that's fine. I can go somewhere else. But I know how it feels to be out like shopping with people or whatever and like feeling like you can't even, you're not part of it because you don't fit in that store. And there are other stores like that, that they just don't cater to my body type. That is okay, okay? We move on, we go looking for something else. There's other stores and other brands out there that are gonna make clothes for you. And brands are starting to get smarter and starting to realize, hey, maybe we shouldn't just limit our clothes to one body type. Maybe we should expand you know, our sizing and not just the sizing, but the style of the clothes, the cut. Old Navy is really smart to have a curvy cut jean that is slimmer on the waist and larger on the hips. You know, like, more brands are gonna start doing this. So don't you worry your little head about this or your big head. I have a big head. I will not worry my big head about this and you shouldn't either. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you did and if you'd like to see me do more videos like this. And this is Barry Becca signing.